Hey all, Russ here, VTV. Welcome. Today is January 10th, 2021. Oh my. Day of the Rockin' Gym Show. This coming Friday the 15th starts a Cellarama. Somebody asked, here's all the vendors, somebody asked about Q Mountain, so I thought we'd go check it out. In a lot of my videos, I always mention Q Mountain, the community at Q Mountain. But I never drove out through here, and actually you can explore all around there too. There's a couple old abandoned mines, so that would be a fun day to do it. Perfect weather. Town's picking up pretty good. There's a few people in here now. Okay, here we go. This is uh, the community of Q Mountain. There's different names like Q Vista, Mountain Vista, I forget. <laughs> there it is. Mountain Vista. Cool. A lot of mobile homes, private lots. There's a couple RV parks back in here. A lot of these people live here full time too. You always see stuff for sale. Wouldn't be bad to live back in here. All right, there it is. See the big Q up on the hill? That is Q Mountain. Let's go explore, check it out. The pavement ends and the BLM land starts right here. People hike up this thing all the time. It's not a real hard climb. I've done it. But we also uh, have an easier way to look at it. <laughs> Check this out. 300 feet. There's the big Q. <laughs> they repaint that Q. I don't know. Volunteers do it. They There's a flag up there all the time. People go up and replace it. Because it gets wind torn. Just kind of a keepsake of quartzite. This old mountain here. Mining History 101. I mean, it goes way, way back. Way back. Look at the landscaping. Look at all the trails out here. It's just a really cool place. You can see the flag a little bit right up top. Waving in the wind. Let's cut around to the back side. There's a couple old abandoned mines we can get up pretty close to. Check them out. Four-wheel trails everywhere out here. I mean, this is ATV, UTV, off-roading central, dirt bikes. And hiking, really, it's it's close. You can hike. I used to walk out here from uh, Tyson Wells all the time. I used to bring my dog out here years ago. All right, here's the first mine. Don't remember the names of these things, but they date way back in the early uh, 1900s. You can see right there's a community we just ro drove through. Q Mountain. That's how close it is. But look at the old wood, the old metal. Even got the old gearboxes and all that. Look at this thing. That's got to be a hundred plus years old, I'm guessing. <laughs> Too cool for school. Can you imagine all the ore that was pulled out of this little hill here too? There's quartz veins. Of course, it's called quartzite. <laughs> Wonder why. But there's quartz veins everywhere around here. And with the quartz, you also get the gold. There's another look at it. Look at all the old structure, the old tank. There's the big Q and the flag. Look at the landscaping behind there. Isn't that cool?
There's a bigger mine right there. Let's go check that one out. These trails go on forever. Now this one up here, it's a little bit more of a hike to get to, but a lot of people walk up. But we got a four-wheeler, we'll get up that way. I thought what I'd do next couple weeks was explore little pieces of this area out here. Just pick a little area and explore it. Make it fun. There's a marker post. A lot of this is gold claims. These have been claimed for years. They're still claimed mines. So you really can't metal detect or anything out here. Unless you get permission. Alright, now check this little trail out. I've been up here before. Look at the rocks here. Hang on. Here we go. <laughs> we got four wheel. Definitely not a racetrack, is it? This one is much bigger. They got still got the power poles out here. No clue when they shut this thing down. I heard back in the 40s, like around World War II, look on this side, it drops way down. What a pretty, pretty day. Our weather's just perfect. Look how this old wood, it's kind of rotted, but it's still surviving. These things will just probably deteriorate forever. Big old water tank there. Water's a premium in the desert. They probably used a ton of it. Matter of fact, way, way back, some of these old trails were the actual highway. Dirt trails. Down there, look, there's a mine shaft right there at the side of the hill. Kind of boarded up. Concrete. Old structure and foundation. Now you can walk up this path here. Look down there. Those mountains out there look like a moonscape, don't they? <laughs> but this is where I used to bring my old dog. We'd walk up here years ago. And look at the view way before I ever had a drone or anything. Look at the view, you can see all the way out in the desert, all the way around Quartzite here. Getting a little breezy. The winds yesterday here was screaming. I mean, they clocked them over 40 miles an hour. True desert wind, wind event. Big old dust clouds is flying through here yesterday. I was going to try to film this yesterday and couldn't, just couldn't do it. Way out there, there's all the Laposas, north, south, west, Tyson Wash, LTVAs. Pretty cool, huh? There it is. There's the dusty nugget. There's me. <laughs> but these dirt trails are just like a highway system back here. Right behind Q Mountain. This is all around Q Mountain. Down there's Tyson Wash. You can see the wash. That's the Mother Nature's storm drain system of quartzite. Keeps it from flooding. Can you imagine the history and the amount of people that used to come up here? Way out there, there's Tyson Wash LTVA. Right down below us across the main wash here, that's uh, La Posa West. Directly across the highway, that'd be north. 
They'll post the north. Doesn't look too crowded yet. I mean, that's a lot of rigs, but usually should be a lot, lot more. And there is the big tent. Look at it. Looks like a big marshmallow out there, doesn't it? <laughs> too funny. And there's a community of Q Mountain. And the backside of Q Mountain. They ought to put a Q on the backside, too, huh? Or a Z, maybe a QZ. And we're going to head over that direction. We've got one more thing to see here. Down the rocky road here. Yeah, I couldn't imagine how many people have been up here. My goodness. Through all the decades and generations. And, uh, couldn't even imagine. There's a big pipeline that runs through here. That's why some of these dirt roads are so good. Right there is the sign for it. That pipeline runs clear across the desert all the way into California. Then they put in these service roads, which are really good ATV roads. All right, we're going to go over here and we're going to find the quartzite and taglias. I talked about them enough. We might as well show them, huh? Cameras here, doing the handheld one. Get a little better idea of the terrain. See the fenced area off to the right? We are directly behind Desert Gardens RV Park and Love's Truck Stop. You'll see it here in just a minute. These guys are all fenced and protected, thank goodness. And these are called the Quartzite. Taglias or petroglyphs. The dates of them, who knows? It's kind of like the Bouse Fisherman and Taglias and the Blythe and all them. But there they are. That one's supposed to be a fish. <laughs> I think a fish. And there's a giant arrow over here. And a spear there, I think it is. You'll see it from the air. These things just boggle my mind. I just can't imagine how they've stood the test of time. But they are protected. Aren't those cool? But you can easily walk out here. You don't need a four-wheeler to, to make these. Might be like a five, ten minute walk from Desert Gardens, if that. Now you'll be able to see them better. See that one, there's the fish. The one's like the figurine of a man. I never could figure out the other ones. The big arrow, yes. I think that one's like a spear. Not really sure. But aren't those cool? Now that arrow supposedly points exactly towards the Bouse Fisherman ones. That's what I was told. <laughs> you never know. So if you look off that direction, that points straight up towards Bouse. There's Q Mountain again, and there's the freeway system of the dirt trails. Look at all those dirt trails. People ride these all the time. Way, way out to all the La Poza K 
campgrounds, beautiful mountains, and this is mining forever. Gold, all kinds of minerals have come out of here. What a pretty, pretty place for the desert, isn't it? I think the desert's always beautiful. Right down there is Love's Truck Stop. How many times did we drive past that? We're on the backside. Now you can see right here where the Desert Gardens RV Park is. That's how close these uh, intaglias are to it. So you can park right there and just walk out here. You see that little dirt trail? Probably not even a five, three, five minute walk. There's looking at big quartzite in Q Mountain. Well, we need to go find a fuel station. Run over here to Love's. this Kawasaki it gets pretty good you really can't call it mileage but I can run around all day it's got a 10 gallon tank and I can run around all day pretty much on five six gallons and right here's the road you can see how close we are to town if you get a chance get out here to Q Mountain hike it bike it ATV it, UTV it. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Kind of like a, another hidden gem of quartzite. Right up here on the left, big Lowe's truck stop. They keep saying all this stuff's going to expand. I don't know. But I think the face of quartzite's changing here in the next couple of years. All the land sales and everything going on. Well, I need to top off some fuel. The journey continues. Talk soon. <laughs>